Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Looking back through some chat here, I see Cindy is here. Michael is here, Red Lorraine, Helpful Natural, Inka Dinka Doodle. Hello to everybody. So I have a new camera arm, so we're going to see how well that works today. Maybe it won't jiggle as much when I'm filming. That's my hope. Elena is here. Who am I missing? Princess Scary. Julie Lovejoy. I didn't read all the chat, you guys. I have to admit I was rushing, running late. So I'm just going to say hi and just come in a little bit late to the chit chat. We got our lights going. It's all good. So we have a little bit of a new setup, but you guys can't tell, but, I, but it is on my end. Lisa is here. So I didn't get my palette done. I had an electrician come in today. So um, I told them I had to live stream at four o'clock and then I had to tell them what that meant and that I needed them to be quiet. And they said, oh, we'll get out of your hair by four. So then they left just now and I was like, ah. So this is the, um, this is our paint palette for the month for the goddess Persephone. Look at this. I love it. Look at this wax seal. Gorgeous. Pomegranates. It's not my arms that jiggle. Yep, I think I'm having uh, arm jiggle problems no matter what I do. Look at this beautiful pomegranate red. Oh. We have a color changing from red to green. We have a color changing from purple to gold. I love it. Look at that red one in the middle. That's crazy sauce. Oh, you could use that for Yule too. Here they are in real life, all stamped with pomegranates. How cool is that? So I know for sure I'm going to use the pomegranate red. And the mica white for my skull. And what else do we want to use in here? I think I'll just pull them all out. Red Lorraine is reminding me. I actually remembered. Put them on the back of the tin. It only took me eight months to find that one out. And when you think you're only getting a pan, she loads these babies up so that they are so far above the pan that you are getting basically double of some of these colors. And they're magnetic, so they just stick wherever you want to put them. But you can kind of see how she's load she loads up those paints. So check out Scarlet Nymph, not sponsored, just a friend of mine for years. There's a 25% discount code down below the, the stream. Pagan Crafting is here. Welcome GC. 
and who did I miss? Dwayne, hi. Dwayne, I got your messages on Instagram and I said hello. I don't answer messages on Instagram generally though. I only answer messages from patrons. Okay, let's get going with this. Hello, Meg Olson is here. Meg is collaging in their journal. Awesome. I love it when people are doing arts or crafts while I'm doing arts and crafts. So I'm just using a uh, um, kneaded eraser to take some of my color down. Dwayne says, did you see the pics I sent? No, I'm sorry, I did not. Just as a reminder, I don't really um, check my Instagram DMs very often. went a little crazy with the shading because I wanted to make her look really kind of severe you know goddess of the underworld is kind of more what I was going for but she's got her springtime aspect here and then she has her wintertime aspect here and then the whole thing is in a pomegranate with the six seeds that the myth you know says she consumed I used, I started with a, um, a statue, a picture of a statue of Persephone, and then I went from there. So it kind of did the, the ringlet hairstyle that you often see on the, the marble. Hello, Arwen. Finally catching you live. Well, welcome. I never um, edit my live streams unless I have some like really big blunders or flubs. So that if you watch the video later, it, it looks exactly like being there. Hopefully that's going to be good enough. It still is quite dark, but I think it'll be okay. I'll call it good there. Let's see what colors we need. Um, do we want to make our redhead? I think we do. I'm just going to add some water to my palettes here. Start with some clear water. My water is always on the other side of my mic, so I always knock my mic. There we go. Inca says, I remember a palm commercial that mentions the six pomegranate seed thing. The goddess speaks and says, totally worth it. Okay, we got our, we've got our 
wet palette here. I'm going to move her so I can just load up my palette without dripping. Don't want to drip. So we'll go with red hair. So I'm going to combine a little bit of brown, a little bit of red, and a little bit of orange to see if we can get where we need to be for the hair. a brighter red. Oh, too much. The red has so much more pigment than the other colors. Let's get some more brown. Oh, well, we, we've gotten to an auburn, so that's something. might be good. And then we need some very pale colors like parchmenty colors for her gown. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white to try and take that down to like a pale parchment. And also like kind of a light tan as well for that skull or a bone color, I should say, obviously it's bone. And then we're going to use some of our, um, our sparklies to add on top. So mostly white, but just a tiny bit of brown. Or even sepia. I might even grab sepia and see if that'll make a bone color. Just the faintest amount of brown in there. There we go. We've got a little bit of a bone color going on. And then of course we need the pomegranate and some flowery colors and some green over there for the greenery. And then I think I want to use that beautiful, hmm, what do you guys think for the outside? Should we use this purple or should we use this navy for the outer, whole outer portion? Remember that the pomegranate is going to be kind of this color, so which which is the way to go? I can't decide. Let me know in chat if you have a preference on the navy blue or the, uh, the purple. I almost feel like we should just um, do a little tester on the back of the paper. Wow, that blue is pretty. Let's do a tester. Let me try the purple. There we go. Now we can see the blue. It's a very gray blue. We got to let it dry before we can see the um, the shimmer.
a much lighter color. I also like this other purple a lot. I don't know, I don't know. I should really wet these so they have a chance, so the water has a chance to kind of soak into these babies so they're ready to go. Pagan Crafting is here. Fur and Feathers is here. Everybody says both. Oh, Shamanic Journey is here. Hello. Hello, everybody. Anybody I've missed. Package Pagan is here. I think we might go with the with the navy. I'm going to prep some navy. I'm going to also prep some purple and we'll just be ready for either color. We've got them both. We're ready to go. They're not quite dry yet, but you can kind of get a sense of like Purple kind of has a gold to it, and the, the blue has a very much gray to it. And those would be over our, um, our regular colors here. Anyway, let's get going on our painting. We can grab more colors as we need them. How many of you guys are um, subscribed to my newsletter? Oh no, some of this soaked through. I guess she's gonna have purple eyeshadow because we have some soaking. I'm gonna put my uh, my little my little thing behind it just for now. There we go. If you have my newsletter, then you will know that there has been a new addition to our household. should probably do her skin first. What am I doing, you guys? I've gone crazy. Let's see how pale should her skin be. Pretty pale. She is the goddess of the underworld. She does not get out much. Let's give her a little bit of color, but not much. Maybe we'll put a little bit of pale pink in our cheeks just, just for fun.
So if you guys got my newsletter, you saw the new addition to our, our home. We have a sweet little baby girl. Her name is a kitten. She's about maybe six weeks old. We're not exactly sure. And she is adorably sleeping right over about three feet from me right now. I just remembered I better turn on my recording or else it's going to stop. She's an adorable gray and white kitty. She is the sole survivor of her litter of six. The mommy kitty had Pargo. And so the babies were born with the virus and the rest of the litter didn't survive. So she's a little fighter. She's the only one who made it. She has a, um, she's a special needs kitty. She has a, a condition that resulted from the virus when she was born. It's called cerebral or cere cerebellum hyperplasia, something, something to that effect. I'm probably not saying it right. Cerebellar hyperplasia, I think it's called. And that means her brain did not develop fully when she was a baby. And that means that she has some disability as she's growing up. It will not get any worse, but it's not going to get any better either. So she has some challenges with balance and she has some challenges with a head bobble and I'm not sure exactly um, just from observing her but if she has maybe a depth perception issue but she doesn't care she's just running around like crazy playing with toys just having a good old time Um, we have finally named her. Her name is Gracie. My husband wanted something that reminded us that she was going to overcome all of her disabilities and, and uh, be able to be just fine. She does a fun little goose step. When she steps, she's not exactly sure where she's putting her feet. So there is like a bit of a goose step happening or a, almost a prance. And so we were considering calling her dancer or prancer or something like that, but it, it just kind of felt a little bit like a horse or a reindeer and didn't really feel like a cat name. So we went with Gracie.
Maybe I'll do a little wash of this color first. And then we can pick out the details a little bit better. We're hoping that as she grows up, she'll get quite stronger in her body and a little bit more coordinated just simply because she will know her way around the house and she'll know, you know, she'll be able to work around her limitations because she'll, she'll know more about them. Okay, now we have our wash. We can go in with our detail as soon as that dries. Tanya, welcome. She says, my youngest cat was born with kind of the same thing. Her head tilts to one side and she walks a little sideways. Peckish says, kitty's going to kitty no matter what. <laughs> Oh, I forgot some green uh, for our little leaves and whatnot. Let me throw some green over here. I'm gonna do some really light greens, I think. So it's gonna look like spring on the left and winter on the right. A few colors for our flowers. I think yellow is going to be good. Oh, if you hear any sounds, that's her bonking around. Okay. She just decided to get down off the off the bed. So if I get distracted or start talking to some to nobody, you know that I'd be talking to her. So yeah, we just got her completely unexpectedly and uh, just had no plan whatsoever. My sister-in-law sent me a, a link and said, do you want this little gal? And she was local and we thought about it and talked about it. And we just decided to pull the trigger. We didn't even have kitten food in the house. We didn't have any special stuff for her. We had to just scramble to get everything ready. And we just went and got her on a, on a whim. We've been wanting to get another kitty to keep Noelle company. 
So we've been thinking about it off and on, but we, we just haven't pulled the trigger. So now she is chewing on the string, uh, on the cords of the live stream. So if anything happens to my live stream, it's going to be on her. Can you say hello to everybody? No, you can't. Oh my goodness, I wish there was a way to show your face. No, okay, she says no, she says no, thank you. Sorry, I was trying to show you guys the super cuteness. Can you look up here? No, okay. Cute face. Pardon the interruption. She was just right down at my feet, and I thought this is my only chance to show you guys what she looks like. But that was a kind of a fail. <laughs> I tried. She likes that paint because it smells like, uh, you know, uh, clove oil and all sorts of good smelling stuff. So. She was very interested in that paint. I feel like Persephone is a popular deity who a lot of people have recently um, been called to work with. Anybody on stream one of those people? I like to um, focus on Persephone during September because Kind of her month, her and her mom. It's the, the the month during which, well, September and October. In ancient Greek times, they would celebrate the Eleusinian Mysteries and honor her and Demeter. It's kind of her time of year. The um, the seasonal weather patterns where I live in San Diego, Southern California, kind of mimic the um, the patterns of Greece as well, because we are very close on the same um, like meridian. I think it's called. Is it the longitude?
Meg says, I enjoy her myths. Ironically enough, I keep getting the Wheel of Fortune in my personal tarot readings, which is an interesting synchronicity to me. Fur and Feathers says, cats and kittens with cerebellar hypo hypoplasia. That's, the, that's what it's called do quite well. I watch a cam of Kitten Rescue LA and they have the wobbly kitties. You you have some, they are not as active, and some that surprise you later on with their motion. They are amazing creatures. She is she is very much mild to medium in in the condition. She's not she's not an extreme case. So she's able to eat without, you know, uh, wobbling too much she's able to get to the water bowl and the food bowl no problem she's able to get in and out of the potty no problem so she, it's going to only it's going to be totally fine she just needs a little extra help it's just harder to, uh, to adopt out a kitty with a medical condition so we like to adopt animals that have um, have something about them that makes them harder to adopt. I've been thinking a lot about critical thinking and witchcraft, and I've decided that I, th I think some of the sources for my information, um, things like archeology span and that kind of stuff, I think it's really important to study the classics and to also try and study history and archeology span and stuff like that when you want to look into the myths so you can get some idea about what the people did and why and there are some really good YouTube channels that are not particularly witchy but are more history and archaeology I should get a list of them together and make su some suggestions there's some I really love to watch I find it fascinating to look at witchcraft through the lens of like the ancient Mesopotamians or the ancient Greeks or just stuff like that. Let's see, I think I want my flowers to be um, yellow flowers with white centers or white flowers with yellow centers. Hopeful says, our most recent adoptee is Rue, an eight-year-old gray cat that was morbidly obese. Her owner died and the caretaker was having her put down. 
She walked on the insides of her ankles due to her large belly that dragged on the ground. I slimmed her down and now she's vaulting onto the counters while she has a new lease on life. Yay. I'm wondering how I'm going to transition from these green leaves into this pomegranate color. I didn't really think about that when I made the drawing. I was also thinking that this could be a crescent moon. What are you doing? Sorry for all the scritchy scratchy sounds. She's gone crazy. And then she gets into the spots where only the fuzzies have been for the last several years. And then she starts sneezing like crazy because she's gotten into all the fuzzies that are behind the bookcases and under the couches. And Which makes me feel like I should be vacuuming, but then I'm afraid she's going to get scared of the vacuum sound, so then I don't do it. You can probably hear the tiny little sneezes if you listen closely in the background. I'm not too chatty today. Kitten is giving extra vibes to the art video for sure. I don't know how audible it is. Can you guys hear that pretty clearly? She's, I think she's chilling out now. But she slept most of the day, so of course she got active right as I turned on the go live button. might have to actually get up in the middle of the stream and give her food or something.
take out and I think that's probably good for the hair because we are going to put some black lines in our black fine liner at the end. Erwin says, my cat always becomes active when I'm trying to do something important <laughs> for sure. Okay, so this veil I think is the perfect opportunity to use this color right here. Nope, on screen. Can you see how it's like a little color changing? Almost burgundy, but also purple. It's a little hard to see on, on screen, but I think this veil would be the perfect, the perfect use. that and the purple together. I'm going to mix them. Maybe I just like the purple. Maybe we just use the purple and then we use the blue for around the edges. So that way we get to use both. And now she's attacking my toes. <laughs> you ever have that one little hair sticking off the edge of your paintbrush that's dragging the paint in the wrong direction? So I'm actually using the large, I'm using the large one. I think it's the right choice. doing little one every time she goes somewhere I haven't vacuumed she sneezes Ooh, I like it so let's see when it dries it's gonna have a shimmer to it you can probably already start to see that happening oh sorry I missed Meg leaving That always happens on the uh, the art live as opposed to the crafting live and the planning live. The art live stream is the one where I am able to talk the least amount because I'm focusing the most. Should be able to chat a lot at the live stream later in the month because I'm going to be painting pumpkin decor. And that'll be fun, but it won't take too much brain power because I won't have to make choices like, like I'm doing tonight. So I was thinking about going to Disneyland pretty soon, but I saw the crowds on September 1st when the uh, Halloween decorations were out, the first day that the Halloween decorations were out, and the crowds were banana sauce. The 
it used to be if you went to Disneyland in October, it was the quiet time. It was the, the least amount of crowds, but that has all changed. Now Halloween is the thing. Everybody likes the spooky times. So now the question is, should I do purple inside for the veil and outside to kind of like echo? And should I use the navy blue for the moon? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oops, the purple decided to fall off the tin. Come on, come back. There we go. All over me. The thing about uh, Halloween at uh, Disneyland is I really love to spend a lot of time in New Orleans Square. That's my favorite place and that is where all the Halloween stuff is because the Haunted Mansion is there. And the Haunted Mansion movie just came out so I'm sure there's additional extra interest just because of that. Inka says, there it is. I heard the tiny sneeze. <laughs> she likes to be with people. So if, even though she has the run of the house, she's not spending any time outside of this room because I'm the only person home and she wants to be with the person. So she's just going to be running, running wild in here. Permis Dead on Cooper is here. Welcome. Love watching you create. Thank you so much. Who else did I miss? Did I miss anybody? I think the good thing about my live streams is that I'm not a classically trained artist. And I'm just kind of figuring it out at the same time as I'm doing it. I didn't have any plan. And it makes it feel accessible. Like, well, if she's just fiddling around and figuring it out, I can fiddle around and figure it out. So hopefully everybody will just try. I have this instinct that tells me that people aren't doing the crafts that I'm showing and the art that I'm showing because uh, I, everything that I show has too many steps and too much materials. So my thought was, I'm just gonna make kits so people can buy kits and still do my crafts. And that was, the kits were really popular for the new moon weaving. So I did another one that was mushroom, the clay mushrooms from um, last month's live stream. But that didn't work out. Like nobody really was interested in that kit. So I haven't quite figured out how to make my, my projects accessible to everybody. <laughs> or maybe it was just a project that people weren't as interested in. Who knows? 
I feel like this would be the perfect use for gouache. Like just go ahead and paint your undercolor with watercolor and then use gouache because it's um, opaque and just make the flowers on top. But I don't have any gouache here at the moment. As Brock is here. Hello, welcome. So the question is, do I make this a crescent moon with blue? Do I just put it with purple? What do I do? What do I do? Or I could make this outer portion blue. No, because I, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to go for it. It is what it is. Whatever comes out, comes out. I think I might just stick with purple and purple and this uh, maroon color. I feel like when the cards look a little bit more monochromatic, they, they look a little bit better. This painting becomes my pen pal card every month. So I'm always trying to imagine what it's going to look like as a greeting card. Okay, I think we let this dry and then we come back in with this amazing uh, glittery purple. Perma said, I'm Cooper says, a little late to 
oops, chat just moved on and I, right as I was reading, a little late to the live, may I ask which paint brand you're using? Yes, um, it should be linked underneath the stream. And then this, these little guys right here, it's Scarlet Nymph and you can find them on Etsy and there's a link um, under the stream as well with a discount code. And then my regular uh, watercolors are also linked under there too. It's just an Amazon link. Okay, let's get some more detail in here. Start right in with our blue. Mm, no, maybe I'll just start in with the purple. Erwin says, the moon weaving was the first thing I attempted because I had stuff at my home and it wasn't super complicated for my limitations. I want to buy the kit, but budget wouldn't allow. Well, the kit is only for people who don't have a yarn stash. If you already had a yarn stash, then you didn't need the kit. I just felt like some people would not want to buy five different kinds of yarns just to make, just for the few yards that you needed <laughs> to make it, make it happen. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna be good. Ooh, my pomegranate. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a really good palette. starting to dry already you can kind of see a little bit of the shifty red lorraine says the way i like to use the paints is as accent to regular paint colors like makeup for your painting that give it flashes of light and implies movement Inca, what is the moss stitch? Well, if this is the makeup for your painting, then my painting is a drag queen because I'm using a lot. Nothing wrong with that. I like, I like to use it as the outside and then leave the face and everything kind of more of a flat color so it pops. Maybe I won't do um, a metallic on the outers. Uh, maybe I'll just do regular blue because I've got a lot of metallic. I feel like I've overpainted in in metallics this time. Keep it all relegated to the little border area and the veil. And remember, we finished this uh, each painting off with uh, the micro uh, pins, so it will definitely have some black lines as well to pick out the details. That red paint makes it look so much richer. Oh yeah, that was the plan. That was the 
was the plan to make it look cool and shimmery, befitting the goddess that she is. The queen of the underworld deserves no less. I almost feel like I should use the micron pens on the skull first and then put paint it over. But no, I think I'll do all the pen at the end. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh yes, looking good, looking good. Sorry I had to step away for a bit, says Cindy, but I did get to see the new kitty. What a cute patootie does she have a name? Did I miss it? Her name is Gracie. But I kind of call, occasionally call her Goosey because she has a funny way of walking because of her, um, her funny little brain. I don't always use all the, the paints that are in the palette. So if you guys want to see all the paints that are in this palette in use, there's pictures on Etsy of all of them. Okay. I love some of those paintings that you see that were re are recreations of what the Greek statues look like when they were painted, as opposed to that pure white that they appear now after so much time has passed and the, the paint is all worn away. There's often a, like a terracotta color, a reds and really deep blues. Hello, Weezer R2D2. Welcome. I 
Inca says, I did a little weaving magic in the moonlight. I wove the blue moon into my project of the night. That's awesome. Okay, what else do I need to do? Let's let's maybe put a little bone color over here and a little gray because my paints are starting to dry up under the air conditioning. Do you guys think blue on the outside? I don't know. We have to make a decision pretty soon. I can't keep putting it off. You can barely even see that on on um, the camera, but you can kind of see now that I'm holding it up. It, it's a blue color. I mean, sorry, it's a bone color. This would also be great to have some white highlights with some um, gouache. Maybe off screen I will pop a little bit of gouache onto some of these flowers and, and that kind of thing. Let's see if I can just give a little bit of a lip. No, I think that'll dry okay because it's going to dry down a little bit lighter than what we see right now. And what about that purple gold color for the eye? Maha's here. You're not late. You're fine. So it's this color here. kind of has like a a little bit of a shift to it. Or wait, it's this one here that has a little bit of a shift to it. Kind of goes green, kind of goes burgundy. And then we will bring out the rest of the eyes with the pen. Okay. 
Now I think that the lip has gone outside of lines, out of bounds. Let's try it and fix that up a little bit. Okay, what is gouache? Gouache is similar to watercolors in that it is reactivated with water. So once you put it down, you can still smush it around if you wet it again. However, it is uh, similar to acrylic paint in that it's opaque. I really, really, really want to learn how to use gouache. I practiced with it a little bit when I was on vacation because I just brought a tiny little palette of paint and a small little, a little um, sketchbook to paint in. It was really fun. So we have our blue moon here, and I think we're going to do this crescent moon blue as well. And then you guys can tell me if you think the outside should be blue. With watercolor, what you want to do is do your lightest parts first. So if you want to leave anything completely white, you just don't put any paint at all. But with gouache, you can do everything else and then come back with white because it's opaque and you can add your white last. So you kind of work backwards, if that makes sense. I'm trying to think if I can find quickly get my hands on the um, the few little gouache pieces that I practiced on during my vacation. I think I know where they are. So what do you guys think of, what do you guys think of putting blue on the outside? Is this too dark? Perhaps we should use a lighter blue. We could mix it with some lighter. Oh no, Maha, you're gonna have to, um, 
you're going to have to watch the VOD when it when we finish the stream and then just go back in like 10 minutes in because she's sleeping right now so I can't show I can't pick her back up plus getting her face on screen was really hard because I would had to almost like flip her over and she was not having any of that so uh, but yes you can see her face also, did, do you, um, are you signed up to my newsletter? Because if you are, I sent, um, I sent a picture of her out in the newsletter as well. A lot of times my my newsletter goes into people's spam folders so if you're subscribed but you never seem to get it just check and see if it didn't go there I also should probably make a community post and let everybody know on YouTube that I got a new kitty too that would be a good way to show her off. Just don't like to make too many community posts because then um, stuff like the live stream gets buried. And I want to get as many viewers as I can to come to the lives. So remember, this is going to become a greeting card, so the edges will not be seen. The artwork will be cut off closer to the circle. So it doesn't matter if I make it all the way out to the edges exactly. I think I might have to turn her upside down to do this side because I'm such a lefty. running out of blue. I'm going to have to mix more. And I don't remember exactly what I did. I think it was this one. Eek. I hope that's right. Or it's going to look really different. Perma says, have to leave for work shortly, night shift at hospice. Well, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for the inspiration. And I'll be ordering from Ed Street tonight. She has so many good palettes. You will get lost in the search for the one that you want.
something is going to have to get fixed in Photoshop and I'll show you exactly what it is. This really dark spot that I started on, I think I got to fix that in Photoshop because it's too dry now to move around. Sometimes you can fix them and sometimes you got to just let it go. I do like the way the blue came out. It needs to be a little bit more saturated. But I do feel like it's time, it's almost time, to get the black pens out and get this going. Hey, Free Samples is here. Hey, the Way of the Witch is here. Have you been here this whole time? Did I just not say hi? Is that fallow blue? It is a combination of Prussian blue and turquoise. Okay, so here's the weird thing. The purple that on camera looks more brown appears purple. And the purple that looks more purple appears more brown in real life. That's super weird. And then I will do the little top portion uh, above it with this uh, red as well, but I gotta wait for that purple to dry. Just here for the last few minutes. Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss you for the whole thing. <laughs> Bruja Ruby is here. Who else have I been missing on my uh, incognito is here? I feel like I need to do a little bit more leaves. So our next live stream is going to be painting pumpkin decor. I can't wait. It's going to be easy because it's not a craft that we're putting together. It's just going to be painting and chit chatting. So we should be able to celebrate Maybon on that day as well because it's, it occurs the day before. So close enough. So I might treat myself to a glass of wine or something, maybe a cocktail. So come to the next one, prepared to celebrate the equinox. See, this is where gouache would be great because we could just use uh, some non-transparent paint to just put some leaves up here and it would just go over the red instead of blending in. 
maybe off stream I'll pop out the gouache and add a few things here and there. Sorry, I didn't have my recording on. My bad. I should probably get a streaming camera for my live stream so I don't have to worry about that 30 minute shut off. I'm not sure how high quality it, um, it would be for a little webcam or something, but I'm going to consider that. Now that I have a new arm for my fancy camera, I can put a secondary arm on onto it and Put a webcam and then I could stop having this little this little thing that says record she's looking good she's looking good fur and feather says every year I love to buy mini pumpkins I either paint or marker draw on them I bought three this past week of different sizes gave one to my best debt altar oh fun I'm gonna kind of make these chamomile, I think. Yellow centers, white, white uh, petals. Once we get our marker pens out, So is, um, are you saying helpful that the 20th is the, is the third Wednesday? I don't have my calendar in front of me. Okay, let's get our pins. I haven't had a single sip of coffee. It's gone all cold. Oh no, there's going to be a lot of Photoshop touch-ups here because some of my colors have bled into each other. Just don't look at that part. might do some dental work on the skull with some gouache too and add some white teeth add some tooth whitening okay I know I've been saying that I'm going to get the pens out for the last 30 minutes but I really am hello Bethany welcome we're gonna use a thicker, thicker pin. Looks like an 08. Yep, that's good. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Might even use a thicker one. What do you guys think? Look at these guys. Are they too thick? I 
I think that's good. That's good for the outside. And then this guy is how big? He's a, he's a big boy. <laughs> Bruja says, now I want some chamomile tea because we have little chamomiles. Usually I would let it dry a little bit because my edges are still a bit damp. But it's a live stream, folks. We gotta go. Go, go, go. I gotta turn her upside down again. Shamanic says, I have a bunch of chamomile tea. I've been on a reishi mushroom kick lately. What does that taste like? Is that the kind that tastes like coffee? Or am I thinking of something else? I finally invested in a more expensive um, coffee maker. I got a, I got an espresso maker. I like it well enough, but I am very much used to my old one. So I don't know if it's just because it's new and I haven't gotten used to it, or if the old one was just better. I'm going to give it some time before I decide. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a thinner pen on most of this. Yes, reishi mushrooms do taste like coffee, but I've been having it in my chai teas and cocoa mixes. Well, how's back?
Ooh, I did it. Okay, we've got our basic thick lines. I think they're all done. I think we're gonna do smaller lines now. Oh, I didn't quite get the bottom. Oopsie. Everybody has a favorite mushroom. Inca says, okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Where's the kitty? Kitty is still sleeping, so anybody who wants to see the kitty is going to have to watch the video afterwards to watch her squirm under the camera and not show her face. I'll try to post some pictures in the community tab, though. I think that's going to be the best call. Maybe a five. Let's see if you can see this. So her eyes are kind of brown and then they go to kind of a golden color. You can kind of see that. And that might be a little thick. I'm gonna use a thinner one. Thinner one for the eyelashes. Let's see, a two. Let's try a two. Helpful says, I still have my first espresso maker. I loved it, but there's definitely a learning curve. Yeah, I think I just learned to use my first one and then I bought, because I used it three or four times a day, I thought, oh, I'm gonna get a better one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level up. And so now I have the learning curve of that one. Okay. You know, what I've found is that I only have to do one really good eye and then I can just copy and paste it over in Photoshop. They may not look too realistic, but I wanted to kind of do the eyes like they do in the, in the statues, in the marble statues. Cindy says, ooh, did you see the recipe in the newsletter? Mmm, that's comfort food, too. Yeah, a white bean, uh, white bean soup is definitely. And it's something that I can um, eat. It doesn't too have too high of carbs for the, for the keto people.
The shimmer on the eyes is good, but I'm not sure if it's going to come out in the in the greeting card. Sometimes the shimmer paints don't quite show up. And the hairstyle is also a nod to how the uh, hair looks in the marble statue. There we go, she looks like a statue. We've been having crickets too. Shamanic, we've been having, we have this one really loud cricket that lives in the kitchen. Oh, she's almost done. Look at her. I think I'm going to use a thicker pen down here on the gown. And then a thinner pen for all the little folds in the, in the linen. I'm doing it a little bit in each direction so I don't get too uh, angled and then it gets all weird.
I don't mind a cricket in the house. I feel like they bring good luck as well. It's a pretty common thought, I think. Don't know about frogs. I might have seen one years ago in our yard, but crickets are loud, especially on bright moon nights. Full moons, they were super loud. I don't know if you guys remember the first few streams that I did where I was painting and I couldn't even get halfway done in two hours. And at six o'clock we'd have to knock off and I wouldn't have any inking done or anything. So look at it now. Look at me now. It only took me two years of live streams and I finally dialed it in. almost done and it's been almost exactly two hours. Oh, I have some bad news to tell you guys. Hello, Kara. Welcome. Red Lorraine says, you guys, I was so sad not to have any outdoor and green space that was private. So I made my porch into one and now I have hummingbirds, bees and dragonflies and birds. That is good news. I hate to follow it up with my bad news. I got an email from YouTube saying that at some point in the future, soon, they're going to start putting uh, ads on live streams. Right now I could, I could sign up and, and do ads on my live streams if I wanted to, but I always uh, click that off so that no ads pop up in the middle while I'm doing art. But according to the email, it's no longer going to be possible to uh, not have those on. So ads are going to pop up in the middle of my streams, whether I want them to or not. So the thing is, is that they say they're going to give me 60 seconds warning. And... So if I see the 60 second countdown, I can quickly stop what I'm doing and click on say no and get it to not happen. So hopefully I'm going to get good at doing that and everything will be okay. The problem is, is if I fail to click the no button, then it's going to do an ad 
for however long, I don't know. And I'm wondering, should I just pause and wait for the ad to end and then start doing my thing again? Because that'll be weird for the people who have YouTube premium and don't see the ad. It'll just look like I'm doing nothing. But for people who don't have YouTube premium, which I assume is the majority of people, they're going to miss whatever I'm talking about or doing during the ad. So it, it doesn't, <laughs> why, why are they doing this? So I, I guess I just have to get really good at clicking the no button as fast as I can. I should fill this in with some darker colors, huh? Like put some black in there or maybe just a dark gray real quick. Also, I found out they're no longer all of my um, videos, you know, the unskippable ads that play in front of videos on YouTube. Creators have the opportunity to say, no, I don't want those on my channel or on this video. So every video I say no to the unskippable ones because I hate those. I think it's not a best practice to have those. Guess what YouTube thinks? They think it is a best practice to have those. So at the same time that that other change takes place, they're also going to be putting unskippable ads on our videos and we can't opt out. So that is just happening. You know what I'm using? I'm using that gray blue from the palette. <laughs> Oh, and a reminder for anybody who watches our flag means death comes back October 5th. Ooh, look at the blue shimmer. Oh, I love it. I should put that on the moon. What? We're doing it. This 
this really, this palette is tricksy. What the dry colors look like and what the wet colors look like is just very different. Inca Doodle says, what we do in the shadows just finished. What shall I do until next season? Oh, I love that show. That is my Tuesday night fun time. Oh, this looks really cute. I'm really happy with how it came out. Oh yeah, that blue's gonna look really good when it dries. It gets all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder if I should have made her eyes blue now. Oh well, done is done. She needs a little bit more eyeliner though. I feel like she needs to have that darker eye, that smoky eye. Should I? Should I give her a blue eye? What do you guys think? Then I can make the, hmm. Make the centers black and the outside blue. And so it goes with all these different blues. I'm starting to feel that. I feel like blue at the end is kind of what's coming through to me. Nope, too much water. Maybe um, that's why the blue is soaking through at the beginning. Because remember the blue is soaking through right there? And then I will do the, once that dries, 
we'll do the centers in like a straight up black. I think that's the way to go. I think we did it right. Blue eyeshadow, Kara, I wish. I can't even do blue, shadow, blue eyeshadow on my real face. I would make a mess. As soon as that dries, I'm gonna do black irises. Ooh, I love the blue in the skull. Look at it go. Ooh. Yeah, that was the right answer. So that was this darker blue in the palette. And then the outer rim is that. And then the purple veil is this. So the, the main three colors in the palette, which I've completely destroyed. I was thinking about putting some of this on the skull, but I think it might be a little much. The skull already steals the show, kind of, doesn't he? There we go. I feel like her lip her lip color was was a little pale as well, so that probably needs a little bump, but I can I can do that in the in the Photoshop. I'm always afraid of going too far. So I always underdo the, the lips because I'm afraid of going, making it crazy. There, better, better, yay. I think it looks great. Ooh, I love my Persephone. She knows, look at, she knows a lot of stuff. You can tell just by looking at her. She's like, yep, I've seen it all, baby. She's done, she's done, she's done. Oh, the pomegranate seeds. They were gonna be right up here. Thank you for reminding me. And then we had three of them down here. I can't even see where they were. I'll just draw some in. I don't know if that's where they were or not. She ate them. That's why they're not here. There we go. Got our three at the bottom and our three at the top. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with this one. This one came out really good. Thank you guys for joining me. We only went 18 minutes over and it's completely done and no extra stuff needed done later. So I am happy with that. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll also join me again to celebrate the autumnal equinox and Maybon 
and just get together and chit chat, maybe have a glass of wine uh, if I'm feeling frisky and exciting uh, on the third Wednesday of the month. Did somebody say it was the 20th? I'm afraid to say the 20th. Let me look at my calendar before I say it. Yes, it is the 20th, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Two weeks from now, and we will hang out, and we will celebrate, and we will paint some pumpkins, and we'll just goof off. Nothing nothing very too strenuous. It'll just be a chit-chat, and I'll be able to chit-chat in, in, uh, in the stream chat a lot more than, than during a painting, so... I hope you will all be here on the 20th, 4 p.m. Join me, and thanks so much for watching, you guys. Thank you.